centered on this one. There we go. That's a little better. So we'll wait a second to see who can jump on. Ooh, ooh. This is the one that I went through the washer and the dryer. That's never good. That is real good. Oh, oh Grinelda, good morning. Teresa, good morning. Hi, Sharon. You're the first one. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Joanne Jella. Oh, I hope I said that right. Hi, Kathy in Idaho. Hi, Susan. Hi, Nanette. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Russ. Good morning. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Joe. Hi, Gail. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Laura and Cheryl and Anne-Marie and Grandma Balt, Balt, oh, it's going too fast. Balts, Balt something. Hi, Ivy and Brenda and Janet and Arlette and Catherine and Nancy and Tim and Bernice and Shelby and Lisa and Beatrice in New Jersey. Good morning. Hi, Doris. Hi, Margaret and Denise. Good morning. And Debbie on Facebook and Nancy. Good morning. Hi, Chris and Diane. Russ, did I enjoy the concert? Yes, that is the first order of things we are going to talk about today. Um, let's see. Let's do a couple more shout outs. Hi, April and Crafty Janice and Lynette and Margaret in Colorado Springs. Hi, Teresa in Idaho. Hi, Jennifer on Facebook. Hi, Kelly in North Carolina on Facebook. Um, hi, Deborah in North Carolina. Uh, Anne Marie says she woke up to three inches of snow. Whoa. Hi, Shirley. Good morning, my friend. Hello. Hi. It's showing on YouTube. I'm getting some chats on YouTube already. Maybe refresh. Hi, April and Eleanor and Frank and Sharon and Cheryl and Sandy and Kelly. Good morning. Hi, Jennifer. Um, so Russ had asked about the concert. Oh, uh, Cheryl says she loves her new Lois bag. Yeah, me too. Me too. I love it too. I actually ordered a couple more. Failing did too. Failing ordered three. Um, Shirley says should be sleeping, but wanted to say hello. Oh, thank you. You should go to sleep. You can watch this later. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Love Colors from New Jersey. Uh, Grinelda says, I love your turtle picture on the back. My 15-year-old loves turtles and she's always telling us save the turtles. Yes, I know. Um, I'm a big, um, big turtle fan because of the tortoise UB. Um, there's a huge difference between tortoises and turtles and I'd be happy to share that with you another day. But um, I'm a big fan of tortoises and turtles. And uh, so, yeah, I'm a big uh, sea turtle person. I've gotten to swim with the sea turtles um, once in when I went to, where did I go? Puerto Rico um, for the other company. I got to go swim with sea turtles. And then when we went for Kenny's big birthday, we went to Tahiti and we got to work at a sea turtle hospital. And you volunteer your time and you get to get, you get to pick them up because they're like, there, something's wrong with them. You get to pick them up and take them to a table and you scrub them and you do all this fun stuff. And uh, that was amazing. I mean, you literally get to like touch them and love them and because they're, they're not, they're not doing well. So they're in rehab. So um, that was really fun. Oh, Susan saw the big ones in the Galapagos. I can never say that word, but that is exciting. Shirley says, we need to see you, B. Yes, Shirley, you're freaking me out because you were on Facebook now. You're on YouTube. <laughs> um, yes, UB is still hibernating. She usually hibernates until around March 15th-ish. Uh, so um, when she wakes up, I'll try to, um, she's at Katie's house now. So maybe I'll try to do a live from there someday so you can see her. Um Grinelda says, my daughter would love that. She always um, has me donate to help them out. Yeah. And it's interesting because, you know, they're in California. We're big on um, the environment, kind of. We won't get into politics, but, you know, for a long time, we weren't able to have straws. And they made a big deal about you're not allowed to have straws. And, you know, you need to reuse your cups and you need to do all of this and totally stand behind that. But when COVID hit, no, you're not allowed to reuse your cups. You're not allowed to do this. And you, you're going to take more to-go containers. And so we no longer like the sea turtles. <laughs> but whatever, another day. Um, oh, Shirley says, I watch on TV, so I needed to switch phone to YouTube. Oh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really fun. So concert. Went to the Toby Mac concert on Friday. 
And it was funny because we watched the babies. We watched the babies on Fridays. And so Kirsten picked them up a little early. She picked them up at 430. We literally left the house at five. It was a two hour drive to get there because of traffic, California, Friday night. And actually, technically, I think today's a holiday. So they, um, although my trash man came today. That's interesting. Okay. Um, and so it was a two hour drive on a holiday weekend and we got there and we got there in time and the seats we had were row 12. Now, normally, because let me tell you, I've been in the front row because yeah, did that once actually might've been that twice, but we won't talk about that. But, um, there's not very many things I care about in this world, but Toby Mac music is one of them. Now I always say I love Toby Mac, but when I say that, I really mean, I love his music. I don't know much about him, the person. So obviously I can't, you can't love someone that you don't know anything about. Um, I mean, I know some things, but whatever. Okay. So, um, Ooh, Annette's um, sister attended um, Texas A&M and studied marine biology and made a sea turtle farm. Oh, how fun. And so uh, got to the concert. Now, I've sat in the front row, so sat, not sat, stood in the front row twice at Toby Mac concerts. This time we were in row 12 because we decided late to go. And we were in row 12. But the way Toby Mac does his concerts is he has, and if you saw my pictures on Instagram, you can tell I literally, um, he was right there because he does the front, he does the front part of the concert, but he has this long catwalk, catwalk that goes way out. It goes halfway out and then it tees and then it goes further out and then it tees again. So he spends a lot of time on this catwalk. So we literally like were right, he was right there. So I got a lot of good pictures, which was fun. Got a lot of video and I wanted to post more video just mainly for my own, um, on my personal Instagram, um, which you're welcome to follow. But on my personal Instagram, it's mostly I post for me so I can keep like the photos I really, really love. I know exactly where they are at all times. So that's really, that, that really helps me keep everything organized. And so I was gonna post a whole bunch of videos However, in the videos, you can hear me singing. <laughs> and so it's more of a duet between Toby with Toby Mac and Stephanie Bernard. Um, and I don't think I need to let the world hear that because Stephanie doesn't necessarily know how to sing. She and she doesn't care that she doesn't know how to sing, but she sings anyway. And so I was watching the videos the next morning going, oh, can't post that one. You can hear me singing too much. Oh, can't post that one. So apparently I sing really loud. So we won't post any more of those videos, but I did post one. Um, Creative Space says my brother's dog's name is Toby Mac. Oh, how cute is that? Hi, Tanya, New Zealand. Woo, look at you. Um, uh, so yes, Corinna, I love all of you because you guys, we know each other more than I know Toby Mac. Toby Mac and I don't chat. <laughs> so one cool thing that did happen, he goes down the catwalk and for lack of a better word, that's kind of what it is. He goes down the catwalk and he's like, okay, selfie time. And in past, um, concerts, he has taken people's cell phones and done a selfie with them and then given them their cell phone back. So when he started to do that, I got all excited and I got right next to it, next to him, because uh, he was literally right there. And I was only one person away from the catwalk. And um, but this time they did it a little different. They didn't he didn't take your phone. He had somebody from his band taking the photos and then they would put them on the big screen. Which is really exciting. However, yes, I got to take a he did three. And yes, I got to take a selfie with him. And it went on the big screen and my husband was probably so embarrassed because I, his wife and Toby Mac are on the big screen, but I didn't get a picture of it. And then it disappeared. So I have a selfie with Toby Mac on somebody's phone somewhere, but it disappeared because <laughs> it was on the big screen for, I don't know, five seconds and then it disappeared. So I didn't even get to see it because I was busy like, ah! like that because I'm a total fangirl when it comes to um, Toby Mac. So I didn't get to see it. 
Um, I did hear from one person that was on the concert, but they didn't mention it, and I didn't want to mention to it them to, it to them. So that because that's kind of weird. Did you see me on the big screen? No, I'm not going to say that. But I'm so sad I didn't not get a copy of it. Um, so it is what it is. Hi, Cynthia. Um, it is what it is. I missed um, seeing it. Connie says, I wondered if that was you singing. Yeah, it was. Sorry. Sorry. I had to let you hear that. Um, Shirley says, I wonder if you can go to his website. I know I need to check somehow. I did look on his Instagram and everything and it wasn't there. Um, because you know, they're crazy photos. Literally they're taken in half a second. He just like, he laid down on the, on the thing. And I'm like that, ah, like that. And who knows what even it even looks like. I probably look like the biggest freak on the face of the earth, but who cares? Um, so it was a great day, great concert. Uh, the concert ended about, I think, 11, 15 ish. And keep in mind, that is a very high Brenda and Baton Rouge. Um, that is a very late night for Ken and Stephanie. And so Stephanie didn't eat dinner yet. And so Stephanie said to Ken, Hey, Kenny, can we like stop at in and out So we drove halfway home. And at about 11.45, because it only took like an hour to get home because there was less traffic, um, or no traffic, uh, at 11.45, we stopped at an in and out And Stephanie's not used to being out at 11.45 at night, first of all. Second of all, people that go to in and out at 11.45 at night are young, hip, youngster, gangster, People that Stephanie doesn't normally see because <laughs> she's an old lady. <laughs> um, no, they weren't gangster. They weren't gangster. But I just mean, they're just like all, oh, they're hip. You know what I mean? And so I was like, oh, there's a lot of people here. Actually, there wasn't that many people there. And Kenny's like, just wait. It's pretty early. It's only 1145. So by the time we left, it was about 1210. And yeah, it started to get busy. So it was crazy. It was fun. We had a great time. Um, Kathleen says she gets to see his concert next month. I can't wait. I feel the same about his singing. I can't sing either, but it doesn't stop me. Yeah. And you know what? I totally love him. Lisa says used to go to in and out and Tommy Berger, um, runs in college at 1145. Yeah. Um, oh, speak cat Bab says young hip drunks. Okay. I'd accept that. <laughs> they're very hip. I understand they're, they're cool. I'm not, I get that. <laughs> they were loud and they had having fun. Good, clean, fun, nothing illegal. So that's all that matters. Um, Gina says, I would have said, did you see me? Oh, that's funny too. Yeah, I didn't. Um, Annette says, I go late at night sometimes and I'm a pastor's wife. Bless your heart, Annette. I bet you see a lot of things you don't normally see. <laughs> but it was fun. We had a great time. It was a fun date night. Um, and then the next night, I had a big weekend. Because the next night, you know, every Saturday night we watch the babies. But they had a little birthday, family birthday party for Colin's side to um go to and so we didn't get to see the baby at the bernard house and not only did he take me to dinner at olive garden but he had a coupon because his birthday is coming up march 5th um his birthday is coming up and so he got a coupon from olive garden for a free dessert and so we were stuffed because let me tell you, let me how I do it. Let me tell you how I do dinner at Olive Garden. I order the salmon with broccoli because I don't do pasta. I order the salmon with the broccoli and I get the salad with no croutons because Kenny doesn't eat croutons. Well, he sometimes does. So we get them on the side. So I eat so much salad that my salmon, because it's all you can eat salad, right? My salmon and broccoli never gets touched. And I take that all home for lunch the next day. So Sunday I had the best lunch ever right? And so, and of course I get all the, all you can eat Alfredo sauce. And I take one of the dishes of Alfredo sauce and I pour it on my salmon and my broccoli delish. And so I took that home. So I ate all the salad. So I was so full. We got a free dessert and we brought it home and it's still in my fridge. Can you believe it? I know we're nuts. I cannot believe it's still in my fridge. Bonnie says we've never been concert goers. I'm usually not, but I did this time. Art says, um, would you ever consider doing embossing folders for the slimline cards? Probably not um, because slimlines are very popular, don't get me wrong. But the cost is a lot more because it's more surface area. And you could take our current embossing folders and just run it through once 
and then move it over and run it through again. So that's kind of like my big tip on that. That way you get it in different sizes. Um, Gail says I eat salmon and broccoli every day. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love salmon and broccoli. Um, Carmen says when my 27 year old son was about one, Toby Matt carried my son around for 20 minutes at an album signing. Oh, Carmen. Oh my gosh. I love him. I love him. I love him. Okay. Isn't that awesome? So Sunday was really fun. I mean, Saturday was really fun. Yesterday, church, caught up on errands. I have a list a mile long. The party, the baby's second birthday party is this Saturday. I have a list a mile long because I'm still finishing the banner. I finished the cake, the cupcake toppers and I'll, you'll see pictures. Don't worry. I finished those, but I have to finish the banner. Katie cut out a lot of it for me. So that helps, but I ran out of cardstock. Um, so I had to order some. Um, I, I, so I have the banner, I have the balloon arch. I have, what else? I have a list of my alarm. Oh, I bought, Kenny and I um, went to the 99 cent store and they had these cute little soccer balls and I thought they were really cute. And so I bought little, um, oh gosh, did I write that down? I have to write soccer goals. Yeah. I bought these little, little tight soccer goals. And so we're going to put those out and then the babies are going to have, they each have a ball. And so I made Kenny go back to the 99 cent store and buy more for each of the kids. So each of the kids will have one and I'm going to use my Cricut to put their name on it. Um, I'm going to put their name. I was going to put their name in black. So it didn't look too obvious, but now I've decided I'm going to put it in white. So it really shows up. So every kid will have their name on their soccer ball. And then it's going to be like their little party favor. Now these were not 99 cents. They were three 99, but that's okay. Um, there's only five little kids coming, so it's not a big deal. Um, so I have to do that. What else do I have to do? I have to do their birthday sign. I have to have Katie pick up the cookies. I have to make mini cookies. I have to get snacks and appetizers. I have to get sodas and waters. And I have to do the balloons to fill in the number two. I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do. Oh, Grinelda says she has her same birthday as the day, as the babies, the 28th. Yay. That's awesome. That's it. Merlin says I'm from Buena Park, California. Oh, for, hi from Buena Park, California. Staying up here for a few days at Disneyland. Oh. <gasps> Wow. I heard that Disneyland's lines are hours long nowadays, which is crazy. Um, my um, Kenny has a really good friend that works at Disney World. And he said, um, for some reason, he texted Kenny out of the blue yesterday. And he said, lines at Disney World are an hour easy, easy hour. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I would go crazy if I had to wait in line for an hour. I would go crazy. Um, Shirley says, can you make the rounded corner rectangle as an A1 with different words than the A2? You mean the, um, the, the A1 card base? We have a lot more A1 card bases still coming. Um, we have other different things coming soon in the card kit. So remember, I know in the past, um, it's like maybe last last year, we had like a specific formula and this is what you got. Well, now we're changing it up quite a bit. So I know a lot of people have been asking me, are you always going to have an A1 card base? No, because I'd run out, right? I mean, you can only do so many card bases. But we have other bigger dies, big, not bigger than A1, but big dies coming out, which are going to be pretty cool. Just saying, have we taken stamps out completely? No, you never know. You one month, you might get stamps one month. You might not, you never know. Um, we could do a one fold it. So that's awesome. Yes, we could. Um, a B fold it. Uh, that's kind of weird. I kind of thought for some reason, Yes, that's on the list now. Um, that's weird that, that's weird. Um, I actually, yeah. It's so funny because all of a sudden I, I went to do something the other day and I didn't have what I thought I had. <laughs> and I'm like, how can we not have this shape in a fold it? And it's so frustrating when I don't have a certain shape that I need. So of course I've already designed it. Um, yeah, I'm liking the idea of the bee fold it too, especially the newbies. I love the newbies. 
the newbies. <laughs> um, what? Ha oh, Melissa, good question. What happened to the card kit only videos that were for card kit club members only? Nobody watched them. Um, so we were checking the numbers. And now when I say nobody, I mean, maybe like 100 people. Um, but it was not a, there's a big word to use here, but it didn't work out because we did the normal video and we see tons of views. Then we do the card kit club member only video and nobody watched it. And um, now I know 10 of you are going to say I watched it. Yeah, I know. I get it. But the numbers, like the work that is involved in creating the video on mostly Ken's end, literally the watches, the, the, the views did not translate at all. Um, they just did not translate. So we went back to doing it the old way, unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately, because we need people to see them. <laughs> and card kit members were not going to see them. And that was a bummer. Why are the medium plastic envelopes off the website? Why are they off the website? Let's see. Uh, hang on. Uh oh, hang on. That messed up things when I just did that. Hang on. Let's look because that's an important thing. Um, but I got to tape it. Hang on. Envel. I got to spell it right. Envel. O P E S. Let's see. I wonder if that's it. Hang on. Let's look over here. I don't even know where to look over here. I hate when I can't find something on my website. And uh, let's see. Show all 56 results. Give me a second. Small, large, medium. I see them. Medium are on the website and in stock. So um, maybe hit F5 on your keyboard to get it reset. I don't know, but there are, I see them on my website and I'm on the, I'm on the consumer end of the website and I see them. Um, you can search the word medium and they will pop up. Um, uh, so, oh, Frank and Sharon says we always watch, but they were a little hard to find and didn't work well with our fire stick. Isn't that interesting? Good to know. Um, a bee fold it. Yeah, Gloria. I'm definitely thinking of bee fold it. Um, maybe a beehive too. I think that would be cute. Oh, you know what happened? So I actually did a beehive fold it, but then I changed it to a honey pot fold it because I was in love with the honey pot. Um, so yeah. So, um, Shirley says my grandson, O wants his buddy Stephanie to make a flamingo floaty fold it. That would be cute, a flamingo folded. Actually, um, I did a, uh, okay, whatever, I can't say things. Um, floaty. Um, I would love some word fold it special for my special friend, have a special day, something just special. We have lots of word fold it's coming still. Lots, lots and lots and lots. Um, how do we remove the notification Banners from the shopping page. The notification banners. I don't know what that means. Maybe ask Phelan, because I don't know what that means. And it might need more clarification. The notification banners. I don't know what that means. Um, I was wishing a tea for you. Wishing happy birthday. Wishing... Oh, that'd be cute too. Um, I think I need to make you an idea book now, Darlene said. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the word fold it. I do too. I do too. Um, be a news one. That would be cute. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to, okay. Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Carmen on Facebook. Oh, we made cards with pool and floaties and he wanted the flamingo as a card. Wouldn't that be cute? That would be cute. Um, let me see. I did have, so, oh, so really quick, I had this funny story. 
So back in my younger days, I was, the plan was, I wanted to be a teacher since I was eight years old. I don't know if you guys knew that. I always wanted to be a teacher. And I went to college, got my degree in child development. Then I went to, I got my teaching credential in California. It's called a teaching credential. And um, she means the announcement for when you go live. Oh, I don't know how you make that go away. I don't know. Notification. Oh, no. The, Bonnie's saying notification that you received a request or something in stock. Um, can you send us a picture of it? Because I, I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know when that is. Um, so I am um, I had a, um, so I went to college and I got my teaching credential, which is an extra a year of um, high selling Florida, um, a year of college, right? And then you have to do, or part of that, you have to do student teaching. And one of my, and the reason why I thought of this is because I was in the shower and I thought I wanted to laminate some of the stuff that I made for the baby's party. And then it reminded me that um, my master teacher, when I was a student teacher, um, didn't, um, didn't like when things were laminated. And then I started thinking about her. So, okay, this is, that's why I got to the story. So I used to be, uh, so I was her student teacher and she was my master teacher. I'm sure now you're not allowed to say master teacher. It's probably mentor teacher or something. I don't know, whatever it is now, but she's my master teacher. And, uh, we taught, uh, she was a first and second grade teacher. So she had a combination class and one of two stories here, one of the lessons that I did, wanted to teach was I wanted to teach the first and second graders this poem and then we, we talked about this poem. I don't even remember what it was about. But then they were supposed to go to their desks and write their own poem. And it was a special format, blah, 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 whatever. So we did that. We did it. I thought it turned out great. Afterwards, she gets to critique me. And she said, well, Stephanie, I approved this lesson for you to do that you made up. She said, I approved it because I wanted you to see what would happen when you failed. And I'm thinking... I didn't fail. That was an awesome lesson. And she looked at, she continued and she said, you did amazing. You got my first and second graders to do poetry. And I can't believe you were able to do it. You did it. And I'm like, yeah, I literally was born to teach. I swear I was born to teach. Um, God had other plans, but I was born to teach. And I teach card making now. <laughs> and so that was kind of like my feather in my cap because she was a hard, she was a hard I mean, I could not make that woman happy, um, but I think it was probably because I was a little too confident because I was a pretty good teacher. I'm telling you, I was. So after the nine weeks that you're with your teacher, right, at the end of the nine weeks, she said, what are your plans after graduation when you become a teacher? I said, well, you know, I haven't decided. I want to like, you know, I was pregnant. Keep in mind, I was six months pregnant at the time. I said, you know, I want to work part time. I want to get a shared contract. I want to work part time in the classroom. I can't work full time because I have two kids. And she said, well, would you consider sharing a contract with me? Meaning I would be her co-teacher. So that alone was a pretty good compliment, right? Because this, this lady was a hard and so I was like, wow, that's a huge compliment. And so I said, yeah, I think that would be awesome. And she's like, well, how many days a week do you want to work? And I'm like, well, if I could pick, I'd only do one <laughs> because I'm going to have a baby. And uh, it was going to start in the, in the, so Kate was born in June. It was going to start in August. And I said, I'd only like to really work one day a week the first year. And she's like, that'd be perfect. You could work Fridays. I'll work the other days. La, 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 la. Totally got great. They wrote up the contract. Principal approved it. Everything was good. And she said, oh, and by the way, there's these couple days that you have to come in for teacher training. All teachers, every teacher has to in the district. Um, oh, by the way, this was in the best school district in the area, Irvine, which let me tell you, if you are in the area, you know, Irvine's like hot to trot, right? So uh, she said, there's these couple days we all have to go in. And one of the days, because Kirsten went to school in a different school district, was going to be her first day of kindergarten. So I would I would miss her first day of kindergarten. 
keep in mind at the time, this was my dream job. One day a week teaching in an amazing school with an amazing teacher. Um, and uh, I turned it down because I was going to miss her first day of kindergarten. And my children will always, always come before any job, any job, always, no matter what. So I turned down my dream job and I went to my daughter's first day of kindergarten. Um, don't remember much about the first day of kindergarten. I do remember some things, but uh, I'm very proud of that decision. Fast forward. Uh, so fast forward 20 years, 20 years, give or take maybe 19 or 18 because Kirsten's the rock star. Kirsten got her degree in her four year degree in three. Then she got her teaching credential and she's interviewing for jobs. Guess who interviewed her for one of the jobs she tried for? Yes, the same lady. And she'd moved up a little bit in the admin. She was still a teacher, but she moved up. And Kirsten was, there was like seven teachers sitting on a panel interviewing Kirsten. And Kirsten said, can I just say something really quick? And they said, sure. And she said, um, I won't say her name, M. I'll say her name, her name started with an M. She said, M, um, I just wanted to let you know, my mom used to be your student teacher. It was so funny. And she's like, oh gosh, that makes me feel old. Um, which I'm sadly, I feel like it probably did, but I think that was not the intention. But let's just say that was amazing. Did they offer the job? I don't remember. Um, but she ended up getting a job in her current, um, where she grew up in that school district. She did end up moving to Irvine for a little while and left Irvine to go back to her school district, which was a big deal because her current her school district that she grew up in said, wait a minute, you're leaving Irvine School District to come here? And she said, yes. And the lady's like, why would you do that? Because you don't leave Irvine. Let me just tell you, that's like the big cool thing. So whatever. Um so yeah, so um, when are the Katie and Liam peep coming to the website? Eventually, Gloria, eventually they will be on the website. Uh, I don't know when. And so that was my big story. And why was it important? I have no idea. But I just thought I would tell you that story because I thought about it in the shower. <laughs> um, Lynn says in junior high, my son had one of my um, high school teachers. That was weird. Yeah, isn't that weird? April said, I think it would be fun for you to do a monthly live for just the club kit members, perhaps like a mini class using the kit. April, that's kind of what we tried to do, though. I mean, it necessarily wasn't live, um, but nobody watched it. Um, we were really disappointed. Um, so we, we probably won't be doing any um, things like that for a while just because we, um, you know, if, if we're going to I mean, if even if we do an hour live the setup and the um, everything behind the scenes is another two or three hours. And it, it just doesn't translate um, the way it needs to, to make it worth the time that we need to put into it. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Um, Mr. Craig was my mom's teacher in high school and 18 years later, he was my teacher. I know. Isn't that crazy? Um, Crafty, again, another Crafty says, I couldn't find the videos using the fire stick, so I never watched them. Isn't that interesting? Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Uh, a lot of people would, are saying, um, uh, uh, what's weird is you have um, a past student's grandchild. Oh, gosh, Carrie. Yeah. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. Shirley, yes. Go to sleep, my love. Go to sleep. Lolly says, I was in education for 35 years. I loved it when kids came through who were now parents. Yes. My grandson goes to a Christian preschool. His principal was my seventh grade science teacher. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, Stephanie, um, what about a pen pal or favorite pet fold it? Um, or a memory pet fold it? What would it, what would it be, Polly? Just the word pet? Um, pen pal would work. Pen pal would work. Um um, Shirley says my F, uh, my pinwheel hasn't came yet. Um, Shirley, check in with um, Faileen because I don't know when that got sent or anything. Um, uh, sympathy dies. I know. I know we need more sympathy dies. We absolutely do. 
We absolutely do. Um, C Beach says, I use your stamps to stamp student work. They love it. Thank you, C Beach. That makes me happy. Um, I'm telling you, oh, another funny story is, I'm not funny, but the first time I, Kirsten had her classroom and she was setting it up as a teacher. She taught fourth grade mostly. And she was setting up her classroom. And the first day I walked into it, I looked around and I was in her classroom and I cried. Now, I don't know. I don't know if I cried because I was so proud of her or if I cried because I missed it. I think it was a little of both. But um, I used to help in her classroom um, like once a week. So that got my, my, um, uh, got me back into the swing of things. Um, the sad thing is, is um, I had told Ken, I said, I think I want to go back into teaching. And he looked at me with a little smirk on his face. And he said, you realize when you were a teacher, you had to get up at 530 every morning, right? And I looked at that and said, okay, I guess I won't go back into teaching. <laughs> because yes, you have to get there so darn early, early, early. So yeah, that just about killed me. Um, the getting up early stuff is um, because I, I'm the type that I like to be up really late at night. And then I, um, Feeling's address is info at the stamps of life.com info at the stamps of life.com. If it is a website question though, so if it's a website question like, um, why has my order not shipped an order you placed on the website? Failing cannot help you. Failing does not even live in the state where they ship it. So she cannot help you. You need to email shipping at the stamps of life.com because then it will go to our Utah warehouse and they will be able to help you. So Feline cannot answer any website orders. Um, unless it's like, oh, my payment didn't go through. That's different. She um, can't tell you, oh, your order is going to ship next because she doesn't know. Um, there are some things Failing doesn't know because Failing's not in Utah. <laughs> but um, um, one puck chuck sends 30 minutes in and no instruction going on. I'm out of here. Yes, you need to leave. Mondays are not instruction days. <laughs> The description says, let's get together and chat. So yes, you need to come back on Thursday where we get together and we create. Mondays are for chatting. Thank you for pointing that out so kindly. Um, sorry, snark. Um, let's see. Uh, um, Ronnie says, I have an order placed on 213 and it still says processing. Ronnie, make sure you click F5 on your keyboard to make sure you refresh the page. Um, I know that happens a lot where um, people keep it open and they keep checking it and it still says processing, processing. But you need to click F5 to make sure you refresh it. And if it then still says processing, then most definitely feel free to email shipping at the stamps of life.com. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Um, need some dyes that say we or us. Um, I use dies for Valentine's and had to cross out the I and write in we and me. Sometimes I actually try to add that separately. Um, I do sometimes try to add that separately. Um, shipping did take a lot, a little bit longer last week because um, they we had three releases in one week, which is a little nuts. And um, Utah has lots of employees and they actually, because see Utah ships, not just our products, right? They ship other companies' products, not, not in the craft industry, but they ship other, I don't know like what their other companies are, but they ship other products. And so when we have a big um, release or something, they will pull people that ship normally another company's products into our department to ship our products. But um, we have three big releases in one week. And so they got a little bit behind, a little bit behind. Um, oh, Darlene wants me to remind you the email addresses are also on the announcements in the fan page as well. Thank you. Fan page as well. Um, Francine says, I was an elementary school librarian for 10 years. Love sharing the fun of reading with the kids. Oh, yes, yes. Polly says, Stephanie, previous comment. Polly, I can't see the previous comment. You just need to keep posting the same comment. So hopefully I can see it. 
um, um, an otter set. Um, we, I feel like we had some otters. We had some otters in the Arctic set. That was a class. We did have some otters in that. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, how cute. Deb says from fourth to ninth grade, my best friend's mom was one of our teachers. How fun is that? How fun is that? Um, that is really fun. Um, will you be releasing the slimline lattice background that was on HSN? Forgot about that. Slimline lattice from HSN. I'll have to look into that and make sure it gets on the schedule. Mm. A Labrador retriever, please. We do have a Labrador stamp set, stamp and die set. We do have that. We do have that. Five by seven envelope liners and inserts. Um, yeah, I wonder if that's somewhere. Now, the cool thing is you could still use the inserts from the A2 envelope. They'd just be a little tiny bit smaller, but not much. So um, that would be really cool. Um, the foldover card is on order. Let me check on that one because it has been a long time on that one. Oh, let me try to get over here. And I have to search this. <sighs> That's not it. Uh, let's see. It's on. Yes, I ordered them January seventh. Uh. I will check into where this order is. Yeah, and I even marked it urgent. So, okay, I'll check into where this order is because that should that should definitely be here kind of by now. So, um, Speed Cat Beth, while I quit teaching in the classroom, I did still teach my whole office career how to use Outlook, how to use Word. Yeah, you know what? My coworker said I was so patient. Yeah, I think it's like once you start um, doing... Um, uh, teaching, you really, yeah, you find other ways to do it. Oh, Lori says she lost her 3D inks and she can't find them. Oh man, You're, yeah, yes, they those are on order. Oh yeah, get a kick, get a kick out of this one. So we ordered those a long time ago, right? And thank you to COVID because I said, okay, how long is this going to take? They told me. I said, great. So when that time was up, I said, okay, where are they? And they said, oh, the tubes haven't come in yet. <laughs> Good times. Good time. Um, when is the Get Well Steffi doll coming to the Stamps of Life website? Tisha, a minimum of six months is my um, exclusive for them. Um, so probably sometime this year. I will put it on my list to double check um, when it should be in. But if they have it on their website, it, it, ha it has to wait till it goes off. Um, on site. But I'll look. Um did I decide on the theme for the next class? M Mays? Actually, oh yeah. Um, because it it we're putting it on, on sale in a couple of weeks. Um it's we're still we ordered two at the same time. So two of the classes are coming, and we haven't we it's literally gonna be one of those things is when when um um when our they going to um which one's going to show up first all the products because you know there's more than one product that has to show up so um we don't know which one it'll be but yes it's been it's been um we know we have a couple on the way uh uh what about a paw or bone or fish or toy with angel wings that we can use alphabet stamps and dice to add names to it oh that'd be really cute that'd be really cute New schedule, new class scheduled for release three eight. I think that's been changed, Jeannie. Um, I think we might have changed that, but it might. I'll have to look into that. You could be right. You could be right. I don't know. You could be right. Um, you could be right. Um, Barbara says, any reason you don't do heat embossing? Um, 
there's a couple reasons. Um, we're working on trying to find embossing powder that we like. Um, we have a couple different sources and we still have not all agreed on one that we all like in-house. So we're still working about that. Uh, Jay Lynn says, I love your classes. I'm looking forward to the next one. Yay. Okay. Lori says March 9th is the class release. That might sound more right. Any thoughts of a Western style windmill, windmill die? Um, Debbie, we already have a windmill die, so I probably won't be doing another one. The last time I did two reindeer dies, I literally got so many emails um, complaining that um, I had to take a walk. <laughs> so here's a little tip, you guys. I mean, I'm not going to make you all happy all the time, right? I mean, that's impossible. And once in a while, there's going to be something I release that you don't like. That's okay, right? You don't have to buy it. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, we call. <laughs> So um, probably won't do another. And, and I mean to say that soon. I'm not saying in a couple of years we might not do something like that. Um, but yeah, it, it just, it, um, it, uh, yeah. Let me just tell you, I pay Faylene really well, but I can't. I'd have to pay her probably $200 an hour for all the crap she has to read. <laughs> Now, 99.99999 is not from you guys because you guys are, you guys are lifers, right? You guys, I'm preaching to the choir right now. I'm not, it, it has nothing to do with any of you guys because those of you, the HSN cross flip it dies, um, that is coming March 25th. Um, that, that is totally not you guys. Okay. Totally. I, but there are other people out there that um, we hear from. Um, yeah. When I wear a, a color shirt they don't like, we get an email. I mean, it's just, you can't make it up. <laughs> so luckily I don't see 99.9% .9 of it. So that's good. Um, yeah, it just gets crazy. Um, Lupe says, I know I've asked already, but will there ever be a double heart folded? Yes, there will, Lupe. Um, I don't, obviously didn't make it on this year, but it will be released for way in plenty of time for the next Valentine's day in plenty of time. Um, desert flower says, why would anybody complain about that? Oh gosh, you guys have no idea. You guys have no idea. Um, I don't have any sneak. Oh, I don't have any sneak peeks, but I do have some cards that never made it. This was a cute Valentine's card that I got from, um, I feel so bad I didn't get to share this. Um, Mary sent this a long time ago, and it's literally, as you can see, sitting on my desk. It says, welcome February, wishing you a month filled with love, peace, and joy. Happy Valentine's Day 2022, Mary and Jerry Boltman. Happy birthday, Liam and Miller. Isn't that sweet? And she has our little cute gnome on there. Love it. So cute. Happy Valentine's Day. So I got that one. Um, there's a couple here that I don't think I ever got to show in the videos because they just didn't make it in time. But here's a cute happy anniversary that Chris made from our design team. Look at that. I shall always love you. Isn't that cute? That's the happy anniversary. Um, I feel bad I have some I, I didn't get to show. M Linda made this one. Happy anniversary. I love you. I love how she did that with the cute little key. Um, open it up and it's a nice, an anniversary is a time to celebrate the joys of today, the memories of yesterday and the hopes of tomorrow. Linda made that one. Um, here's a cute one by Linda again. Let's celebrate. Um, have a wonderful birthday and many more to come. Cute. Um, here's a cute one. Oh, look how gorgeous that is in the black and the white. Let's celebrate. This one's by Chris. Isn't that cute? It's your birthday. I love that. Um, and then I do believe these are already out. Gosh, I hope they are because I'm going to show them to you right now. Um, baby, look how cute that is. Baby, this is by Cheryl. And this has glitter paper on the back. Look at that. Can you see the glitter paper on the back? I love it. Open it up. Welcome, sweet little one. Congratulations. So cute. Um, here, I feel so bad. I, some of these didn't make the video. Um, this one, Happy Easter, which look at that, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Happy Easter. That's our Easter statement die. And our little uh, sheep mini pudgy. Open that up. 
Easter is a time to come together, celebrate and celebrate new beginnings. And share, uh, oh, Linda did this one. And she used in here, because see here, she has a spot to write. But on this, she used the stencil paste. Oh, oh, ooh, YouTube, you can see it right there. Look at that. Look at that. Can you guys see it on Facebook? Yeah, you can see the um, the 3D part of that, which is really cool. Um, here is a cute one by Cheryl. Baby bundle of joy. Open up. Welcome, little angel. Congratulations. Isn't that cute? And that's using the baby um, strip dot, uh, stamps. Here's another one. Baby, you are enough. Look at how cute that is. Um, Michelle made this one. Love you. So this is more of a like, um, not baby, baby, like infant baby. This is more like, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Um, I say that to Kenny all the time. Hey, baby. Um, and then this one is really cool. I did see somebody ask about um, a shaker for word dies. Um, happy birthday. This one says, um, happy birthday, baby which is really cute. This one is a shaker die. So you're going to use the inside die. So this one used, um, what you're going to do is to make the foam piece on this one, you are going to use the second biggest die with, get ready, the second biggest die with the letters on the inside taped so you're going to die cut that all at once. You're going to die cut five dies at one time, right? So you have the second biggest die that goes all the way around and the letter dies taped inside and run that through out of foam and also out of the yellow frame that was made out of this. And that is going to create your pop-up to, I'm not pop-up, but your, your height to make that shaker. Then you are going to die cut. Um, she used the foam also on the insides too. Then to make the acetate, you're just going to use the second largest die. I'll try to do that in a video soon because that's a really cool, cool technique. But look how fun that is. And as you know, I love my shakers, right? So that's that one. So I feel bad I didn't get to show all those, but now I did. Oh, oh, and I think this one was from, oh, Mary. Um, this was from her. It fell off. Oh, darn because these poor cards, oh, here, I bet you it went right there. Look at that. Sorry, Mary. I think that this was by Mary. Yeah, Mary. Sorry, I found your other gnome. Sorry, she's like, my gnome wasn't there. So there, found my gnome. So cute. I absolutely love that. So those are the cards that I had on my desk that I forgot to share. Yikes. Oh, so I have a question for you guys, because I got to get out of here. I have a question for you guys. Something weird happened, and I don't know how this happened. I don't know how this happened. But somehow, Stephanie, and I would take full responsibility, somehow, Stephanie ordered birdhouse dies that are not the right size. Technically, this is. This is, yeah, this is much bigger than our card kit. I mean, our, our club dies. This is actually five and a half inches tall. So obviously that's much bigger than our card, um, our, our club dies, because that would be like 3.75 inches tall. This is five and a half inches tall total. And it has all the cute birds. I have a very limited amount of these because it was just like a reorder. So if I were to ever put these on the website, would you guys want this? It is not exactly an A2. So I don't know how exactly how that happened either. It's not exactly an A2. It is three in, no, that's not true. Hang on. It is a little more than three inches. It's like three, almost three and a quarter inches wide. Oh gosh, you're all saying yes. Okay. Even though it's not the perfect A2, I mean, it would fit in an A2 envelope. It would fit in an A2 envelope. Um, uh, Darlene says, send me one now. <laughs> yes, the birds are a different size also. So these birds are different sizes. They fit in here with this. This is upside down. This is a little swing for them to go in the birdhouse. So everybody's saying, yes, I would use it. Okay, so um, 
<laughs> Grinelda says, I want the illegal die. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't know how many we have of this. I will give you the heads up on one of our chats before we put it on the website. Yes, you could turn it into a fold it. Absolutely, it could totally be a fold it. Um, it's the right height, it's just not the right width. And I know I have some widths that are not, it, it's just, it's, it's literally gonna be a limited edition. I'm not gonna reorder it. Um, I will let you all know, hang on, let me look at my schedule really quick. Okay, so what we're probably gonna do is I will get it on the website sometime next month, but I will tell you guys that it's on the website, but not. it's not gonna be on the homepage. Um, it's not going to be on the homepage. So I will tell all of you when it's on the website, but we won't talk about it anywhere else. Okay. So it will be, I will tell you where it goes on the, where it is on the website to find it. I will make sure you all find it. Um, but it'll just be like a Monday chat. Hey guys, go get it now. One and done. Okay. Um, It would be kind of cool if I got it on the website on Thursday, though. And then I just said something in code on Thursday. Like I just said, hey, those of you that watch the Monday chat now and hang on, where should I put it on the website so we know where it is? Hang on. Let me let me find a place really quick. OK, this is what we're going to do. This is the plan. I will put it on the website. My team's going to flip out on me because I, I always do weird things like this. I'm going to put it on the website in the belt section. Now, if I would have thought ahead, I could have said gold only, Gail, but because I offered it to everybody here, um, I'm going to let everybody have it. Um, this will be in the felt section. My plan is to do it on Thursday. Now, here's the deal. Don't talk about this in the fan page. This is between me and you. Okay. Don't tell anybody because you, I know Tammy's all, you're being all sneaky. I know. Don't tell anybody because we don't want anyone else to know. Okay. Um, so it, hopefully half of you aren't even interested. That would be good. But felt section Ideally, I'm thinking Thursday. I gotta write this down so I can remember. So felt section not on the home page. Felt section on Thursday. Okay. Not on the home page. Don't tell anyone because this is just between you and me. Okay. Don't say on the don't say on the fan page. I mean, if you wanted to say something on the fan page, say, hey, if you watch Stephanie's No Makeup Monday now. Or something weird like that. Don't. It's code. Okay. You got to talk in code. Okay. Because we do not have enough of these. I'm not going to reorder them. And it is what it is. Okay. So just saying. I have it on my list. Fried a felt section. Not on the homepage. Don't look on the homepage. You got to go click on felt. And it's going to be at the top of the felt page. Oh, Serenity says code word tweet tweet. Perfect, Serenity. Code word tweet tweet judy code word tweet tweet so look on thursday and just go code word tweet tweet okay but um elgar says speaking of fan page i sent a join request last week looking forward to joining the group um darling can you look up elgar's um membership make sure elgar's did you answer the questions make sure there's a couple questions is there a name for this die good question not really it's called die bird cage but I will name it something better. Maybe I'll name it Tweet Tweet. Okay. Okay. I'm going to write on it Tweet Tweet so we remember. Tweet Tweet. And chances are it won't have much of a description. Um, what time do I come on on Thursday? 11 a.m. Pacific. So it'll probably go on a little bit before then. Okay. So just keep your eye on it. It will be, yes, Russ says it will be the only die in the felt section. Yes, Russ, you are correct. It will be the only die in the felt section. So, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so late. I gotta go. Okay. Code word, tweet, tweet. Code word, tweet, tweet. Felt section. That's it. 
Okay. Um, um, Darlene says, yes, to join the fan page, you got to answer the question. Uh, she says she answered the questions. Great. Elgar says she answered the question. So go, oh, Darlene says, go do it again. <laughs> Sorry, you got to do it again. Sometimes, you know what? Facebook's been acting really weird. Ken's, Ken sent multiple questions to Facebook because something's up. But okay, you guys, I got to go. Um, but thank you. So, okay. Tweet, tweet. Just remember. Felt. Tweet, tweet, felt. And felt kind of looks like tweet, so it'll help you remember. Okay, my friends, I got to get out of here. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your prayers. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love our Mondays together. Yes, um, that person was correct. We don't do any instruction on Mondays. Uh, I apologize if you're here for instruction and you didn't get any. Um, you'll definitely want to tune in on Thursdays where we actually do something. <laughs> here we just get together and chat. But thank you all so much. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. And I will see you Thursday for a get together where we're actually going to make something. And don't forget code word. Tweet, tweet. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Have a great week.